Hello, I'm Chris Spear, President and CEO of the American Trucking Associations. In this role, I was privileged to accompany some of our association's leaders, as well as a dozen professional drivers, to meet with President Donald Trump at the White House. This was an incredible opportunity to tell our story, help the President put a win on the board, and introduce our industry and show why we matter. It was an amazing experience for me and our members, and I'd like to share some of it with you now. The perks of being President of the United States, like getting to sit behind the wheel of a Mack truck and honk the horn. This week, President Trump welcomed members of the American Trucking Association to the White House to talk about the benefits of the ill-fated Republican health care legislation. Out in the White House driveway, Trump climbed up into the cab of a big rig and turned into every eight-year-old boy, excitedly playing the steering wheel, honking the horn, and generally just loving trucks. In fact, he wore a pin that read, I heart trucks during the meeting afterward. And by the way, who doesn't heart trucks? This photograph of Trump loving trucks with a boyhood passion became a hot viral sensation. I still, at 41 years old, call for the horn when I go by a big rig. It's just who we are. Oh, you still do it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I thought you were, of you were course. a kid. I'm like, okay. I blame it on my seven-year-old son, but it's really for Great, me. Great, Willie. <laughs> That's just us. It is from the trucking industry. Our meeting at the White House with President Trump. Let's listen in here. <laughs> Joining us now is Chris Spear, CEO of the American Trucking Association, who is in that meeting with the president today. It was poetic the way he described trucking. I want to be a trucker now, Chris. Thanks, Kelly. I do, too. I'm glad to represent him. But uh, <laughs> we also had 12 drivers there today, too, with 29.4 million accident-free miles. So not just CEOs, but the people that actually move the freight day to day were there in yeah. the room. And it was just an outstanding conversation. No one knows America like truckers know America. You see it every day, and you see every hill and you see every valley, and you see every pothole in our roads that have to be redone, right? Every town, every forest, from border to border to ocean to ocean, it's true. It's true. And you love America, and you uh, love the spirit, and we love your spirit, and we want to thank you very much, because very special people. Through day and night, and all kinds of weather, truckers course the arteries of our nation's highways. You carry anything and everything, the food that stocks our shelves, the fuel that runs our cars, and the steel that builds our city. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Jim Berg, JVTC Trucking from uh, Macomb County, uh, uh, Michigan, uh, that county you carried well. I did. You know, but we support the president. I support the president not just for uh, affordable care, uh, as we expect it to be, but also for everything that he's trying to bring. You know, tax reform, infrastructure funding, all the things that are important to trucking. Well, that was a great visit at the White House. I'm Kevin Birch. I'm president of Jet Express out of Dayton, Ohio, and also your chairman of the American Trucking Associations in Washington here. We just witnessed something that I don't think has ever happened before, the two uh, trucks at the White House and, and also introducing, if you will, President Trump to our trucking industry, what we do and why we do what we do. But uh, we all gathered together as a group for the American uh, Trucking Association leadership and also the road team members. Uh, to tell her story to the president. And I think the president got the message that trucks do move the economy and we're important and we're viable. And uh, all in all, I couldn't be happier on, on what happened today. It was a great day to be in Washington. 